Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the M1 mirrorless camera review. Today I'm going to talk about the first issues that I have found on this camera and I'm also going to try to update its firmware. Hopefully uh, the issues will uh, go away after that. So the main uh, issue uh, regarding its uh, functionality is that it will not connect to the mobile phone regardless of what I do. This camera has a smartphone application which enables uh, control settings and so on. You can also share uh, media from the camera uh, using your phone to your social media or upload the file somewhere. Uh, None of that works because the phone will not connect the camera regardless of what I have tried. There's even a walkthrough uh, on uh, their website talking about this problem and how to solve it. Nothing from there works, so I cannot make it uh, connect to the phone. Second uh, issue, it's a, a functionality issue regarding uh, the usability of the camera. Uh, when you choose a mode here, it, even if it's manual or automatic or a program mode, uh, you have settings for uh, choosing the F number and the EV and the shutter speed, but you don't have a shortcut for the uh, ISO sensitivity, so you must go into the menu. I'm going to select a mode that I can select uh, sensitivity, so you need to go into the menu, select sensitivity, choose your needed sensitivity and return back to the main menu where you can adjust the rest of the settings. This is uncomfortable uh, if you want to do a quick picture and you want to adjust the camera, go to the menu, select sensitivity, select what you need and go back and take the picture. So uh, if you would add the sensitivity button here like you have these ones, which you can select and then adjust from the dial here, it would be just perfect. So, if someone from uh, E is looking at this uh, video, please add the sensitivity button. Alright, so not a lot of issues, only this until now. I don't uh, have a problem with the autofocus, like most people uh, tell about that it's very slow. It's normal for this uh, kind of uh, camera, as uh, it's not a professional camera, but it's a good camera. And until now, I didn't find the need of a much faster focus. Right, so now I'm going to try to update the firmware. To do that, I'm going to connect the camera through the USB with my computer. Camera will uh, start in uh, mass storage. And I'm going to zoom on to the monitor. So I'm going to open the SD card. And you have this folder here. And the firmware file is going in the root of this folder. If you don't have this folder, you must create it. And uh, copy the firmware file here. Sorry about that. And now the firmware is on the camera. It's very important to use, as I told you, this folder. Do not copy it into the root or into another folder because this will not work. Right, so I'm going to safely disconnect now. And I'm going to unplug the USB from the camera. To continue with the update, you have to enter the menu and go to firmware information and now you just need to press both buttons here and you have this option to upgrade camera firmware upgrade for camera firmware yes and now it's upgrading the firmware and we have to wait
and we get the initial setup menu I'm going to choose English I'm going to set the date okay and now if I go back to the menu let's see firmware information we have a new firmware and it's a new lens firmware also which is nice and we have some uh, new options here for example we have anti-shake mode and now we have um, actually electronic image stabilization for video which is very useful I'm going to add the video with the anti-shake and with it off so you can see it does some good things and uh, this uh, update uh, supposedly has a lot of fixes there is a change log for it and it adds a live uh, video preview uh, it has an option to limit ISO sensitivity when it's on auto mode uh, you have the electronic image stabilization you have better autofocus performance you have improved quality for 4k video so there are a lot of uh, improvements and uh, hopefully this camera will get better and better because it has a very good sensor and until now it works very nice just out of the box without those minor issues that I have uh, told you at the beginning. So the new firmware is up and running, more testing is to be done and soon I'm going to start to upload some footage from the camera, some videos taken in 4K and in uh, full HD. Until next time, bye bye!